guys hello i am back vlogging first vlog of lockdown like i told you i wasn't going to make any more vlogs on my channel but i was watching some of my old vlogs and i was like oh my goodness i actually miss vlogging i just miss talking to you guys just like random and also i know like travel vlogs are like my favorite when i travel i want to be able to capture those moments and i can always go back I'm working from home by the way and I can always go back to you know and refer to them like if I'm looking for a place or if I forget something so I thought I am going to be I'm gonna start vlogging again but it's gonna be more curated and also I was getting frustrated with my Sony camera and so I sold it I mean it's a good camera don't get me wrong good quality I got to the point where I know I wanted the Canon G7X so it just came today so i thought i would just you know bring it out and and start vlogging again i miss i miss vlogging i mean lockdown has been pretty good i've just been living my life <laughs> i mean i've been living um my life to the fullest um nothing can stop me i mean sometimes i have down days where i'm like i just want to be out especially living here in new york city the best thing about living here is being able to order food at 2 a.m or going for a walk at 1 a.m and also restaurants and stuff like that i miss those things but at the same time i have no problem staying in my room because all my life i've been an introvert i've spent my entire life in my room um but at the same time i love adventure it's kind of like i don't know i don't make any sense at all it's so funny like i love adventures i love all this stuff but at the same time be the introvert in me that just really don't like to interact with people much like you guys i love talking to you i can talk to you all day because it's about stuff that we are interested in and most people are not interested in like beauty fashion it's just like why am I talking to you? I mean, not to say it's the only thing that I can think about. You know, I can have an intelligent conversation and all that stuff. But it's just like, I don't know. A lot of other stuff don't really interest me that much for me to waste my time on them. <sighs> Again, that's the problem when I start vlogging. I start telling stories. And then I go into like five different stories within a minute. But, um, which is why, honestly, I started vlogging to kind of like help me be a little bit more um thorough with my storytelling and a little bit more straightforward and just be focused and stuff like that but um and also a lot of people were asking for me to do a little tour of my wardrobe um which i will be doing very soon maybe i'll do that tomorrow um i'll show you the specs and all that stuff what i did yeah i'm very happy about my new camera oh, i'm so excited on my lips, I have um, ABH Ashton Anastasia Beverly Hills liquid lipstick. This is my favorite peachy nude lipstick. It's like the best for my complexion. If you're like myself, you don't necessarily like a pinky nude. Like I think a peachy nude goes better with my skin tone. So I highly, highly recommend it. Their lipsticks are drying. I'm not going to lie to you. But as long as you make sure your lips are scrubbed really nicely. Look at my nails i painted my nails how cute so i have this two nail polish that's, that came with my sandals and i wasn't sure which color i wanted in my nails so i did both and i actually like them focus there you go sarah flint did a collaboration with another female founded company paint box and and the collection the shoes are the same color as those nail polishes so that's what's on my nails right now I end up loving this and I've been looking for I've been looking for a pinky nude like that forever so this the pinky nude is called like Cypria and the other lighter nude is called like Rose <laughs> I didn't even realize it was my name and then my favorite nail polish ever it's ballerina by Chanel it's the same color as the gel that I use to do all the time and what I love about this nail polish it feels like gels on your nails and it's really long-lasting well not right now because of um, you know I'm washing my hands all the time but otherwise this will last me about a week and it feels the same way like you have gel on 
so I absolutely absolutely love that and this is my current shoe collection and then those are all the new shoes that I've acquired last month and this month and I do need a new one a new shelf to put my designer shoes or I'm going to be removing some of these shoes that I have here but the thing is because it's so close to the Sun I don't want to put my shoes next to the Sun so I don't know what to do I think I could have one more actually in the back over here there's space for it but then again do I really want to hide my designer shoes but it's probably the best spot for it it's not dark but there's no sun there there's no sun exposure so that way my beautiful Manolos as you can see I have four pair and one new one that just came in today which I'm about to do an unboxing I'm probably gonna be using this camera to actually unbox them and this is camera G7X cannot wait one of my favorite magazine unconditional this is over there which I have to tackle don't mind my garbage but hi guys so this is a new normal we have we have a park in our building which is incredibly nice to have that especially as New Yorkers a lot of us don't have like a backyard or anything like that so to have like a really big park in our complex just makes such a big difference um, so I am gonna go to the park to do like a little picnic trying to take some pictures and stuff oh my god there's like so many people already here um, I think I'm just gonna sit here until like 7 p.m. maybe which is when we do a clap and then they play Sinatra um, yeah it should be fun and I'm walking to the taco spot to get some food and then come back and sit out in the park and here's my shoes for today this very shoes that I got in the raffle this itch and dress that I've been wearing literally every day so obsessed I try to get a back up but sold out and then this little basket from Amazon with my J. Crew lemon printed scarf and then I'm wearing the blazer because there's a little bit of a wind going on I hope this is not as shaky that's usually a complaint from everyone oops shoes are too big I'm going to be very mindful of that and we'll see how it goes I, I hope they get better this is a little glimpse of the park all right guys picnic is in uh, session oh, there are my gloves. in the park well mm. it's about to die well hello there I am back home now I am um, about to eat I ordered fries on um, Greek fries at my favorite Greek place which is just right around my house so it's like so perfect picnic was amazing I had a lovely time I'm gonna eat I'm gonna shower and then I'm probably going to watch a, a classic movie All right, and I'm looking a little bit shiny so I'm about to like take a shower just get ready to bed and then I'm gonna do a little bit of shopping just a little bit because there's some stuff that I need like the hourglass veil primer it's just the best like it's so funny sometimes you don't realize how your products are performing until you actually try something new then you're like wait a minute my product has not been doing its best you know the ones that you're used to I mean obviously I absolutely love the Laura Mercier primer the one that I use is the blemishless but the veil primer no shine whatsoever actually let me take at my, at my face in the real mirror actually it's not like crazy shine it's just like a little glow so I don't remember where I left off but again this is me trying this camera on auto I haven't really changed its setting but so far I think I like the lighting better because in my Sony it was super yellow this one is more pink I don't know if I prefer the pink better but I think the pink gives um, better coloring rather than just like straight yellow sometimes it's just like too yellow it's like oh stay away from the yellow but yeah I will be filming a video tomorrow so maybe I'll be um, using this camera to to film it and just make it like super chill I don't know I do want to try this and see how it goes so all right I'm gonna go eat now and I'll catch you guys later
Good afternoon guys. Happy Saturday. It's the most, well yesterday was the most beautiful day and I'm so sad I did not get out but it's okay. I wanted to finish editing this video although it was just giving me such a hard time. So I ended up having to do it today anyway so I should have gone out and enjoy kind of like the first day of summer. But today is really beautiful. Um, also, I've got my shoes. They're so pretty. I haven't had my coffee yet so I'm gonna walk to Starbucks and order something I just want something fun today I'm going to do that while I pick up my new dress which I am actually gonna wear to the park I'm thinking I'm probably gonna just pick up my camera and go to the park because what I really want to eat is on the Upper East Side how beautiful are my earrings though I am obsessed with these earrings I'm gonna leave them in the description bar if you want to check them out but what I meant to do is go on the Starbucks app see if I can order this stuff oh my god lighting it's everything i think i'm going to film that video that unboxing video on this camera hmm i think i'm gonna do that because it has hi guys so i am out now i'm headed to the starbucks i couldn't find my um password to log in so quickly running out because the camera has to finish exporting and then so i can try to upload it then i can leave the house you know for a few hours do you know do my thing and so on i think whatever dress that got delivered today from h and that's the dress that i am going to be wearing live like absolutely love this community and sometimes i'm like i don't want to live here and i'm like unless the place that i'm going for have like a balcony or like a back garden i think i would prefer a back garden than a balcony to be quite honest although i would love to be living kayak is like yeah fly these kids i know actually i was supposed to be in palm spring right now trip got cancelled um this was where i wanted to live next like at that apartment across the street from the empire state building it was not across the street this is probably about 10 blocks from the empire state building but from up top so high it just looked like it's so close but it's not that close really but um yeah I think life is going back to normal I think uh, yeah everyone seems more you know at, at peace and more chilled and a bit more happy go lucky and all that stuff of course everyone is doing their social distancing wearing the mask being safe out here um, even gloves I don't even feel the need to wear gloves anymore I just have to bring my hand sanitizer you know when I touch things the good thing about our building when you enter they have the oh, oh Starbucks it's so close I don't even know which direction it is <laughs> I think it's over here yeah yeah I tried to order to the app but it's just giving me a hard time all I want is a cloud macchiato the Ariana Grande drink so there is a line outside CVS to quickly show you my dress and my hat and I am so obsessed with this hat I got it in a size large the thing is with in other stories that stuff go by so fast so if you want something as soon as it comes out you have to get it and this is the perfect size I needed a hat like this um, as you can see in my last haul I had a bigger hat kind of like this with the yellow straw but this is more like a kind of like everyday OMG this is so perfect like don't mind the mess on the floor but this is what it looks like with this dress on it's so perfect guys so I kind of like need hats and like different shapes and sizes for like different things I honestly want to wear it I'm so obsessed with it I think I'm gonna wear it today hopefully it goes with my dress so should we try on a Z dress let's do it this dress I could have gotten an extra small but I love the print I like that kind of flow it's like very subtle um yeah I love it I think this is like a perfect picnic dress I mean it can look like a little like a mumu <laughs> and I'll take the picture I'll just put my brush straps down for the photo and stuff but what do you guys think or maybe should I just wear my um yeah I think I'm gonna change my bra to my strapless bra
All right, guys, I cannot tell you how happy I am Oops. to be back on the Upper East Side. If you know, well, Upper East Side is for sure uh, my favorite neighborhood. I work here. I mean, I change it every day. I mean, for living, for me to live, the Upper East Side is where it's at for me eventually. But for now, since I'm young, you know, I want to, you know, explore other neighborhoods. The next one that I want to live in is the West Village and maybe for like a year or two. No, I absolutely love um, the West Village. I would love to live there. Even if I was to live there for like forever, I wouldn't mind like getting a nice brownstone there. They're like expensive. <laughs> Last time I was in one, it was like 22 million. But it was like five floor. So it was like definitely worth it. And you got the boat house over here. Okay guys, it's time to eat lobster salad. The best. Please don't go crowd this place. Alright, let's get to eating. I've done some shooting with the tripod and stuff. This is a tripod, it's so handy. Like you need one so good just like it from best buy um i'll link it if it's not too loud or something okay. one thing i don't like in this camera is the focusing it's not that great which is very disappointing but i wanted to show you the boots and stuff it's not the most dreamy look at the sun picking through Time to clap for the world. It's seven o'clock. You know what time it is. I know that person. Alright guys, I am back home from a wonderful day at the park at a nice little picnic. It was the most wonderful. Now I am about to take a shower. Then I'm gonna go start drinking a nice glass of red wine. I have this Cabernet Sauvignon. Maybe I'll show you what I'm drinking a little bit later. The video is almost done processing. I can't believe it's four hours later. I mean, it's an hour long video, so that makes sense. But what I like to do first before I jump in the shower is clip my candles if I have two so I just bought this this wig trimmer this is the best stuff what I love about this is how fun it is I love this blueprint it's like so beautiful it also come with the catcher I didn't realize it came with please don't look at my drawer it's so so it come with the wicker catcher so after you cut it let me demonstrate all, although I've already done this but every time you burn your candle afterwards you are supposed to cut the wick because it's not it's going to make all those flame which is going to darken your ceiling and then also it's going to make your thing um, like around the jaw really really dark if you don't cut the wick so it's important to candle care so then I oops I cut it too low obviously because I'd already cut it this morning and this is one of my favorite candles right now 
earthworm. This candle smells so wonderfully. Um, I bought another one which is called a New Dex, is over there on the other side. Actually, I think I'm gonna light up another one on the other side too. Just for for the fun of it. Alexa, turn on salt lamp. Okay. I call this salt lamp, but it's not really a salt lamp. So this is the other one. This is the first one that I bought. I solely bought this candle because I absolutely love the pink vase. Um, and I ended up loving it so much that I bought the other one and I am so impressed. This is Lit Brooklyn Black Owned, Female Owned. So I love supporting brands like that. This is bold. This is beautiful. I do want to get another one. And then here I just leave some matches so I can easily oh did you see I don't think you've seen this Oops, I didn't realize there's water in here but I ordered this cute little New York cup this is so stunning because I was missing New York so much so I thought I, I wanted to be so close to it this is my little setup this is my fake flowers I just ordered the white ones they came in today I guess I'll use them you know I'll switch them up <coughs> when I'm shooting so it doesn't look like I always have the same flowers on so these are fake I'll link them below if you guys want to check them out they're like so good it's like two dozen for like 13 bucks um, so yeah I absolutely <coughs> I love them so much and yeah let's go Good morning everyone. Happy Sunday. It looks like the most beautiful day out. I am not sure if it's as warm as it looks out. Although when I asked Alyssa, she said 66. So that is pretty warm. And from what I can see from the window, everyone is wearing kind of like summer clothing, like legs out and all that good stuff. So I'm going to get out eventually. But before I do that, I want to film a video. I do want to try filming this unboxing using this little camera because it's just gonna be a lot easier to just like sit and have the camera be like so close to me and stuff but I just love this whole blurry background and all that stuff which I can still achieve with this if I just sit um, a lot further from the back I'm not sure yet if I want this background I think I want this background because I haven't done this background in a while plus I have my beautiful flowers over there so I think this is the yeah like if I sit right here and then you could see the pretty background in the back Ooh, the lighting is really good so I think I'm gonna film it and then I'm sorry for the rambling it's gonna be an unboxing of the Manolos so that's uh, very very exciting I got another pair I know um, I was actually going to buy another pair this week I was like you know what this is a little bit excessive uh, you need to chill I was like let me find let me buy something else that I have been wanting to buy, which is a pair of the Chanel pearl earrings. Not these, but I love these too. These are like a dupe for the Dior. At this point, I don't even think I want the Dior's anymore because this one is such a good dupe. I think I even like it better. This one has the gold on the bottom. The Dior one is um, both pearl. Yeah, so I bought the Chanel earrings, so I'm very excited about those. I cannot wait for them to come. I've been searching for those earrings for like a year now but never really found them at a price that i liked because everywhere that i found them they're like 700 900 dollars but the other day um after i decided not to buy another pair of manolos to excuse me i mean i'm thirsty for go to shoes and get the earrings um, I went looking and I found the perfect pair at a price that I was very comfortable paying plus I had a 10% off so it ended up being less than less than what the price was well very close to it so I was very very happy about that I, obviously I cannot wait for them to come so I can show them to you we hope they are as perfect I don't think they're gonna Hopefully they're not too tiny. I don't want them to be too tiny. Um, so I, I already have the turn lock Chanel earring. So the ones that I got is a turn lock with the pearl dangling. 
because I think those are a lot more classy. Those are like for like, you know, fun events where you just want to like, you know, wear something fun and cute. Uh, but the other one, the pearl ones, um, I wanted them more for like high class events or for when I go to the really, really nice restaurants and I'm wearing some very fancy dress and I want to wear some fancy pearl earrings. Because you guys know pearl earrings are like my favorite type of earrings. Um, let me know if you want me to do a jewelry collection for kind of like the simple classic girl. Let me know if you would be interested in a video like that. Let me show you my jewelry tree right now so you can see. So if you had any doubt that I love pearls, look. These were like the first dupe that I tried to buy, but they were like too small. So I didn't like them at all. But most of my jewelry are from Majuri, obviously because I work with them and I love their jewelry as well. And then I've got these, the only hoops that I love so much. Like I would wear these like every day if I could, but I have other pieces and I don't want to like neglect. There's one thing about this camera, the focusing is terrible. So these are like my favorite pair at the moment. Um, the two, I mean the one that I'm wearing and these are like my favorite pair at the moment. And also these large pearl hoops that I just received from Majuri. I am sort of like obsessed with those. They're like so cute. The other ones from Majuri that I, I just got these two for like the days where I just want like a simple start pearl. Then I can have that. I have my pearl hair clip. And I have other necklaces. I don't even wear them because I just love wearing my pearl one which is from Chupi. This is the other one from Majuri that I was wearing all the time like this is such like a classic i absolutely love these because they're like so dainty so classic i think those are like, the kind of pearl earrings that you can wear every day for work more statements if i'm wearing and you know if i'm dressed up and i want like some fun earrings but in pearl form yeah these i absolutely love as well these actually were i think Mon yeah not i think mongo gave these to me as Christmas present, I th I believe, two years ago. These are from Tory Birch. I absolutely love them. I don't wear them as often because they are a little bit heavy. They kind of like a little chandelier, kind of like pearl earrings, They're like so cute. Not thinking about it. I think I, like, you know, in my house, my closet when I have it, I think I want like a chandelier, like a pearl chandelier. I do a little tour of my wardrobe and kind of like go over it once i kind of like figure out what i'm gonna do with these shoes on these boxes because i haven't worn them yet i just don't want to put them out to collect dust which is why i'm keeping all my manolos in the boxes um obviously i've already worn all my chanel's um which is why i have them out even this one i kind of like feel bad it was over here i moved it because of the sun i don't want the sun to kind of like ruin it um, I know, you know, bags can get sun damage, but I know this kind of like beige color, it's probably susceptible to like sun damage, so I kind of like move it more in the shade. I absolutely love these shoes. I had the hardest time styling them though because this beige color is so hard to kind of like match with my wardrobe. Like if you're like a simple girl where you wear like denim, white tee a lot, like these shoes are like perfect for you you can like so easily dress them up but because i have like such um i don't know my wardrobe was like mostly tan colors and all that good stuff so it was really really hard for me to to style this beige color but this beige it's easy for me which is why these are like my favorite ones i got these in paris um those two i paid like 200 dollars for them at this vintage shop when we would, um, took me to is called Wessie Park. Um, I'll leave in the screen or I leave it in the comments below. But as you can see, like when I bought them, they look a lot better. These they got rained on everything. Like I absolutely love these vintage mules. They're like so chic. I absolutely, absolutely love them. Um, I guess it pays to have small feet sometimes. I can find stuff in my size when I go there. But this beige color, it's so easy for me to style it. 
this one not so much the black ones i don't wear them often because these are a little bit uncomfortable for some reason which makes no sense at all because these are about 2.7 inches about um is that 70 millimeter yeah 65 or 70 millimeter what i love about this detail like that cc on the back so cute not the most comfortable shoes and also i don't really wear black shoes like i told you i think i told you guys all the time like black accessories are not my thing and i guess that's the whole thing about me being like a kind of like a casual chic person i don't like to be too dressed up i just like to be casual chic um i think the only pair of black shoes that i've worn to death are these from Bud Care. Uh, I used to wear these a lot when I got them. I'm actually selling them on Poshmark if you're interested. I love these shoes so much. Like so classic, so perfect, perfect mules. But other than that, um, I think I prefer my accessories being um, blush pinks or kind of like very neutral, I would say, as you can see here. These are the kind of colors that I like in my wardrobe. Tan, beiges, those are the kind of colors. Uh, with the belt. And I actually quite like it with the belt on. Didn't think I was going to, but I'm so happy that I got this size. Hi hey guys. I am on the bus now. I'm gonna go to Italy. I was gonna walk and then I thought, why not take the bus? Especially since I'm hungry. And then on the way back, I walk. Which is probably lazy of me. Because it's right there, but. I don't know. I wanted to get there as fast as possible. Actually, let me order the food now. But this is how the bus is. Very empty. You know, everyone has to wear a mask. And they chain the front so we left close to the driver to protect them, which is amazing. And yeah, I'm moving my little bag with my little backups and stuff. It's quite chilled out. Beautiful. Day. Well, not as nice not as nice as it was yesterday but I'm happy to be back here in Flatiron. I ordered a pizza at Italy so I'm about to go walk across the street to break it up. Hi guys, I've had my pizza. I am leaving now. It was so fun being here in Flatiron. I sat in the park. I ate my pizza, the entire thing because I'm so hungry. I do want something sweet for later but I don't know what I want. I want a big banana bread, but then again, I'm waiting for my loaf pen to come. All right, guys, I am back. As you can see, my makeup is all smidged up because of the mask. But that's a new thing. I mean, just like I said, masks are very uncomfortable to wear. But who am I to complain when there's like people in the hospital wearing these things like 24/7 just to keep us healthy? So, uh, so I can't really complain. It's super early. But to be quite honest, every time if, when I'm out now, if I'm not at the park, just like relaxing and being in nature, if I'm anywhere else, all I want to do is like being back home. Like I can't believe how much I I want to just, I was like sitting there at the park just eating the pizza. I was like, I should have just like ordered a pizza to come to the house and then I could just eat it here and just watch a movie. Tonight I am definitely going to watch Breakfast at Tiffany's. I'm going to take off my makeup, take a nice shower. So this is the one that I usually drink it's called writer it's the cabernet sauvignon it's nothing like special or anything the only reason i picked it is because it was the only cheap bottle that didn't have um a cork i hate wine bottles with cork it's just like we don't live in the 1900s anymore it's like why are you still making wine with like a cork in there it's like it's it's so unnecessary like there's no need for that anymore just remove the damn cork, put a cap on it. So this is the only reason I, I took this. And also, I prefer... Let's go on and have a shower and, and get ready for the night. I'm going to watch Breakfast at Tiffany's. I started watching Sex in the City again. I know, I'm obsessed. I can't believe I've never watched it. And then I watched the full season in like two days last month. And then now I want to rewatch it again. Because it was like so much fun. It makes me like miss New York. So it's kind of like since I can enjoy these places and doing all these things, it's kind of like a way for me to do that. But tonight I'm going back to classic. I'm going to watch Breakfast at Tiffany's because I haven't watched it in a while. Yeah, let's go. 
I just did my night skincare routine. I love going in with my CEO Glow First. And then I go in with UFO. I love Sunday Ready products. I go with UFO after and then um, that's about it. I either go with um, the Pharmacy Daily Green and I either go with Daily Greens from Pharmacy or I do the Tula 24-7 Moisture so it really depends on whatever I'm in the mood for for the night but this one is so good I try to use it sparingly um, they send this to me as a gift and honestly I'm not ready to go and purchase it anytime soon I mean although I wouldn't mind but it's like $64 or something and um, also they also sent me this one I absolutely love this one so every two weeks I switch my skincare routine when I use this as a serum I use this one alone because this one is very potent it's very very good so this is definitely worth it so when I use honeymoon glow I use it by itself and of course another product that I ran out of that I'm missing so badly it's good jeans I love this stuff when you put it on it's like um, I never had Botox but I heard someone describe it that way and I'm like OMG that is the perfect description it's like um, having a Botox effect after you apply this product on like your skin become so smooth it's just like you just gone under I don't know the syringe and gotten something done so I love that Pixie just sent me their new Jasmine and retinol line so I am using I am trying that one out not and then sometimes you know I switch um, I will use something like the Alchemist. I will use the serum by wow, this thing. And sometimes I will use Grown Alchemist Instant Smoothing Serum, and sometimes I use Dr. Brent Dark Spot No More for those dark spots. But I hardly ever ever have those anymore from just using the vitamin C from Pixie, so I don't have to worry about that. And then sometimes um, I use Luna, especially when I drink alcohol and I can kind of like not um, not wine. When I drink wine, my skin is fine when I wake up. I think maybe my skin looks even better after wine. But when I drink liquor, like if I make a margarita or sometimes maybe a gin and tonic, when I wake up the next day, I can. I could see the difference in my skin it's not the same so um, this little baby I have to like start using this autocorrect let me show you my night creams I mean my eye cream this is an eye contour cream I need to use this more often I don't like to apply my eye cream um, before bed I like to apply my eye cream right before uh, right before I turn off the light and go to bed which is why I have them right next to my bed. So one that I'm really loving from pharmacy is a chew up. This stuff is amazing. When I wake up in the morning, my under eye looks so much brighter. Absolutely love this. If you're looking for something that can remove your dark circles, look no further than Caudalie was for a troll. This stuff is the only thing that I've ever been able to find that would actually re get rid of your dark circles. I cannot believe my eyes. Um, when I started using this consistently for like two weeks and saw my dark circles disappeared I was amazed because all the products that I've ever used in the past had never done anything this is the first thing ever that's ever done something I haven't used this in a while because I kept forgetting you know being incons inconsistently I need to add it to my thing and of course my favorite lip balm ever is Will Smith I usually try the 
I tried the original but honestly this is the first time I tried the strawberry I am so impressed I can't believe I've never tried this flavor before this stuff is absolutely amazing it smells so lovely I just want to eat it this is I think this is my favorite one it's so funny I don't really like mint anything but the mint one is really good too so which is why I switched it to my bedside table I have one of these in like every bag every corner of my apartment because I can never be without that now let's open the wine and I'm pretty sure you guys have seen my New York cup I've talked about it I love this cup so much it's so pretty I could see the Brooklyn Bridge I could say yellow cab whenever I'm missing New York and then this spray I use this like right now if I do my skincare my night skincare routine super early and then around 9 o'clock after everything has morphed into my skin I like to spray my skin with this and also when I wake up in the morning and I'm not going straight in the shower I know I'm gonna spend a couple extra hours in bed so I spray my face and my neck with this this is lovely this is one of the best spray my number one one my number one is a caudalie spray I mean there's a reason why it's like the most popular spray out there it's because it's the most wonderful spray um but I'm about to spray my face right now when I spray this oh my goodness my skin everything feels so amazing should we open the wine let's do it Good night.